is an easier test for conflict serializability. This test is to construct precedence graph, which is also known as conflict graph for the schedule. In this graph, each node of the graph represents a transaction, and each directed link in the graph represents a conflict. So, if there are transactions TI and TJ, and there is a conflicting action in TI that proceeds in time, the action which is conflicting with it in TJ, there is an edge from TI to TJ. A schedule is conflict serializable if and only if its conflict graph is acyclic. Following from the theorem, we find all conflicts. We model the schedule as a conflict graph using them. Then we check whether the graph that we found has cycles. If it has, it is not conflict serializable. And if it does not, it is conflict serializable. In this example, we have a list of transactions. First, we prepare a table listing transactions in two columns, ordering them in time. Then, we mark the conflicts using the arrows starting from the preceding action in the conflict. Then, we start building the conflict graph. We have two transactions, T1 and T2, and therefore two nodes, T1 and T2. Based on the conflicts we have marked between the actions of T1 and T2 with arrows, we can now start marking the edges. We can see there is an action in T1 that conflicts with an action in T2, at least one. And at least one of them precedes the action in T2. Therefore, we have an edge from T1 to T2. We also see that there is an at least one action in T2 that conflicts with an action in T1 and precedes it. So, there is also an edge from T2 to T1. Therefore, the graph has a cycle and the schedule is not conflict serializable. Now, time for you to practice with some more details. Following the same steps on these two schedules, we can see that there is no cycle in the first graph, and therefore the first schedule is conflict serializable. The second graph has a cycle due to a conflict on resource B, and therefore it is not conflict serializable.